Alright, thank you very much for clicking on the video. This is Gullpain uh, back again just with a very, very quick review of this um, RPG from the, uh, the PSP, which is uh, Tales, uh, The Legend of Heroes, uh, A Tear of Vermilion. So this one, um, basically, I got it a while ago and I've been playing it for ages and ages and ages and I love it. It's such a simple kind of RPG. So there's, it's in that sort of style, uh, the, the Legend of Heroes style. But it doesn't seem to, I don't know, it doesn't seem, there's no like, you know, like world ending, shattering kind of demon thing that you're trying to kill. It's just like your, um, your uh, adopted father dies, or adopted grandfather, because he looks quite old in it, uh, dies and, and then he wants you to bring this um, object to this girl. Um, and then basically you have to go through this town and then your friend helps you. And it's not like earth shattering or there's no like... I don't know, the, the story isn't like, um, you're not saving the world or anything, so I, I think I like those sort of better, where it's like localised into like a specific area, and it's not like, I don't know, saving the world. Because um, there's enough games where you're saving the world, like Final Fantasy, you know, you're saving the world from Meteor or whatever, Final Fantasy VII. Um, yeah, so this one, uh, very, very simple game. Um, the This must, I think this must hold a world record uh, for... Well, obviously it doesn't like because I know there's one other game, like one of the Mega Man games, where um you basically have so much story at the start. But there's so much story at the start of this, it must be 25 minutes before you actually like get into a battle or actually have to do anything, uh, because there's loads of story at the start, and then you just have to go from one town to another town. You don't encounter any enemies or anything, and then you have to talk to this guy for ages, and then you have to do this other thing, and then you can't. It's just it takes ages to get going. I'm not really a huge fan of that. Um, you know, like giving you loads and loads and loads of talking at the start. Um, I prefer to actually do, you know, have like do something and then have the story presented to me and then give me something else to do as opposed to just having to read loads of text um, for at least, it must be at least 20 minutes, if not more. Uh, so then by the time you do get out to the world then, uh, the battles are done very much in the style of the other Legend Hero games where it's sort of like you don't, they're, they're, the encounters are, they're not random encounters, you can actually avoid the encounters if you want, uh, because the enemy characters are on the screen, kind of like in Earthbound, but it's, it's not as advanced as Earthbound, because in Earthbound, you know, if you're way stronger than the enemies, you just you just defeat them straight away, or they actually run away from you. Uh, in this one, they do run away from you in this one as well, but in this one, um, you can see them coming, and it, they're quite easy to avoid as well, but you know you have to defeat a certain amount of them, otherwise you won't be strong enough to defeat like the boss, or you won't be strong enough to, to kind of uh, get onto the next area, you won't have enough gold to buy, you know, the coveted weapons, or the um, magic and stuff that you, have to, that you have to kind of level up as well. Uh, so... There are a few different characters in this one. You start off um, with the main character and then your friend and then a few characters join you and they leave you as well. So you don't have like this sort of, um, it's quite common in the Legend of Heroes where you have like the two main characters and then other characters join you and then they leave you, you know, when their kind of story bit is done and then you might see them later on in the game again. Uh, so you constantly have this sort of like stream of um, different characters coming in, joining you and then basically, you know, leaving you again. Uh, so it's encumbrant on you to kind of level up the, the two main characters you have or give them all the good weapons and then sort of like, you know, do a little bit for the third character or the fourth character, but not that much. Um, so I have got about maybe 10 hours into the game. I believe it's about a 15, 20 hour game. So, you know, not too long, not too short, kind of just, just right. You don't want like a five hour RPG or something, but you don't want like a 40 hour one either because oh my god it's just it's just too much like you know you leave it there for like six months and you come back to it and you forgot what you know you forget where you're supposed to go then you have to drastically look up a guide and stuff uh, to figure out what to do next which is um, not what you want from an RPG so like these RPGs I like when the main story is about 10 hours 15 hours long something like that kind of, kind of like a chrono trigger length um, but then I like when there's other things to do as well like um, if you are enjoying the combat or if you're enjoying the story there's like additional sort of a like mini quest to do as well and this one is no different because it has the um it has the little guild uh where you kind of there's little jobs uh and you kind of you can go around to the towns or the the um the different sort of areas where the enemy characters are and you have to like defeat a certain amount of them or you have to get some items and then bring them back to the, the sort of the guild uh, which is another common kind of trait in the legend of heroes uh games so i'd have to recommend this game totally because I don't think it's that expensive either for the PSP, but it's just a classic sort of like Super Nintendo style RPG where, you know, you can just pick it up, start playing it. The story's not that heavy. 
and um, yeah, just like a really, really good uh, top quality RPG. So if you've had a go of uh, Legend of Heroes, A Tier of a Million, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.